right, YouTube. We're back at it on this Wednesday. Uh, Josh and I went out to Elk River Fish Lodge yesterday, the, the Elk River Fish Lodge yesterday, did some work. Want to share that with you. I uh, wanted to do uh, some more vlogging yesterday, but wasn't really able to. So the main thing I wanted to show you is the footage. And what we used is the Mavic 2 Pro and also the Mavic Air 2. And yesterday, of course, you know, you, as no surprise I'm, to you, I'm a big Freewell filter fan. And yesterday, I was obviously using the Freewell filters on the Mavic 2 Pro, but my filters that I ordered for the Mavic Air 2 hadn't come in yet. So it was uh, they were an attempt to be delivered last Friday occurred, and then finally, 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 yesterday they were delivered. So my plan today on the Mavic Air 2 is to use this here. Um, got a 16 on there right now. And as you can tell, or will be able to tell here shortly, it's a very bright day. Uh, it's cloudy out, but it's extremely bright. And what we're doing today is actually photographing the equip fields uh, for Mount Vernon Baptist Church. It's uh, their sports fields. And so we're gonna be uh, photographing those for you. Uh, so you can actually, actually for the client, but you'll be able to see here, we're gonna try to use the ND16 Freewell filter on the Mavic Air 2 and capture some 48 megapixel cameras or 48 megapixel photos and then compare those to the edited photographs that we get from the Mavic 2 Pro, uh, the 20 megapixel, megapixel sensor. I'm tongue tied today. I'm very, very tongue tied. But Tell me what you think about these these photographs here. I think I think this will be an interesting comparison here. So tell me what you think. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. guys we just got this quick photo session knocked out of the way they just needed some photos of the fields here and everything and Josh asked probably the most asked question right now and I thought it was so cool that he asked it and so Josh what did you just ask me if you were going to start off with a drone for a business what would it be very good question because what you have in front of us I've uh, been using again the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic Air 2 okay so you've seen been watching the channel you know what i've been using so here's the thing it absolutely comes down to money what can you invest right now if you have a thousand dollars that you can invest i would absolutely go with the mavic air 2 if that's all you had i would get the drone and then it comes with if you get the fly more combo it does come with the um uh indie filters but i do 100 percent endorse and i would go with the free wells myself that's what i've done but now if you had more money to invest if you had double that if you could invest two thousand dollars get the smart controller get uh indie filters because you would have to buy those extra and everything uh and maybe some extra batteries and what have you so you're going to be over two thousand dollars when you go into the mavic 2 pro but all that being said the Mavic 2 Pro, depending on what you're looking at, is superior in some ways to the Mavic Air 2. I'm just being honest. When you look at your photography pictures, um, and I'm not, and I'm not putting down. I'm no way putting down the Mavic Air 2. But when you look at what that one-inch sensor, 20 megapixel camera, brings in with the Mavic 2 Pro, it does have the edge. Um, I, I, I love my Mavic 2 Pro. If I could only have one. That's probably what I would have. Now, you know, again, with my mapping and all that, I do like the Phantom 4 Pro, but we're just talking about the Mavics right now. The question of the hour, what would you have? What would you have? What, what, what's your thoughts on that? I know that's been the big question right now, but let me tell you, for $1,000 less, you are getting a tremendous package in the Mavic Air 2. 
you're getting a complete package that I really like. And honestly, the Mavic Air 2 is the perfect companion for a Mavic 2 Pro uh, if, that's, if you've already got one. Uh, what I like to do is splice in some nice uh, 4K at 60, slow it down, do some slow motion. Uh, with that, with those effects, I always shoot 4K60 with the Mavic Air 2 and again run those ND filters. The free will, I usually run the ND16s. I think it adds a good saturation in the area that I'm at, the way the sun uh, is, is shining with the contrast we have here in the mountains. I think it really looks good. But yeah, that's my answer. If you only had a thousand bucks and you really wanted to get started, I would say that you could get, start, get started with the Mavic Air 2. If you really are going professional, full full blown professional you're going to have to have that Mavic 2 Pro. That's my thoughts. What do you think? YouTube, what do you think? Subscribe, share the channel, like, like the videos, hit that little bell button too. Uh, I want you to guys to be able to know that uh, when the next video comes out and we're trying to we're trying to be consistent, keep pumping out the content and uh, sharing some really neat uh, learning experiences. One thing I want to throw in right now before I forget for those of you that do have the ND filters for the Mavic Air 2, I noticed when I put my ND filter on, it felt a little loose. It felt, I noticed it was a little sideways when I took the gimbal cover off after I'd already put it on to be ready for today's shoot, and it was crooked just a little bit. So when I went to straighten it uh, back up and align it back in, and, and I looked to make sure that all the prongs were inside uh, the connector uh, to the lens, to the camera as it should be, and it was, it was it felt just a, a tad loose anybody else experiencing that is it just me is it nothing um let me know let me know what your experience uh, experiences are again fully endorsed free will love them what's your what's your thoughts